राजीव चंद्रशेखर राजीव चंद्रशेखर प्लीज प्लेस इट डाउन प्लेस इट डाउन राजीव चंद्रशेखर बेटी बेटी बैठ जाइए हो गया बैठी बैठ जाइए बैठ जाइए अब राजीव चंद्रशेखर बोल रहे हैं प्रभात जी का खत्म हो गया का प्रश्न किया आपकी प्रभात जी का खत्म हो गया हाँ वो रिकॉर्ड से निकाल दिया जाएगा ये भी सही नहीं अब जाइए अपनी अपनी चेयर पे जाइए अब अपनी सीट पे जाइए सीट पे जाइए आप रिकॉर्ड देख करके यदि नहीं है तो उसको कार्रवाई की जाएगी अब कहा तो नियम के अनुसार निकाला जाएगा बैठ जाइए आप हाँ तो देखा जाएगा और जरूर कार्रवाई की जाएगी बैठिए 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 अब बैठ जाइए देखिए सभी अच्छे लोग अच्छा अच्छा बोल रहे हैं और बीच में व्यवधान करना किसी के लिए भी समाधान कारक नहीं है जी राजीव जी बोलिए सर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू फॉर अलाउिंग मी टू स्पीक इन दिस डिस्कशन सर बैठिए खड़े मत रहिए बैठ जाइए Sir, let me first of all reiterate what many of my colleagues in this house have already said. The idea and ethos of India is that it is a nation of multicultural and multi-religious nature. It is a multicultural and multi-religious nation. We are also a nation, sir, that... I have said that the relevant thing is relevant, it will be removed from the record. The relevant thing is that... Yes. उसका नाम नहीं लिया जा सकता आपने आजम खान जी का नाम लिया अखिलेश जी का नाम लिया कैसे लिया जा सकता है उसका संदर्भ देख करके यदि नहीं संदर्भ नहीं ले ही दे सकते दिस इज द रूलिंग ऑफ दिस दिशा आप रूलिंग थोड़ी ना रूल आउट कर देंगे आप रूलिंग पढ़ लीजिए इसी चेयर की रूलिंग है ठीक है कार्रवाई से निकालने की कार्रवाई की जाएगी निकालने कार्रवाई की जाएगी और निकालने कार्रवाई की जाएगी इस पर सर मेरा टाइम जरा रीसेट कर दीजिए हनी आपका मैं समझ रहा हूँ आप अपना बोलिए और चेयर को एड्रेस करके बोलिए आप बस में बोलने से सब मुश्किल होती है सर वी आर अ नेशन दैट प्रिस्क्राइब्स फंडामेंटल राइट्स टू ऑल इट्स सिटिजेंस अंडर अ रिटन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड वेयर देयर इज रूल ऑफ लॉ दैट गवर्न्स द कंडक्ट ऑफ एवरी वन ऑफ आर सिटिजन सर सो सर लेट्स एज अ हाउस बी वेरी लाउड एंड क्लियर दैट यूज ऑफ वायलेंस टू सेटल एनी डिस्प्यूट इज रॉन्ग द राइट टू मूवमेंट liberty and life are fundamental and guaranteed under article 21 of the constitution using violence to take lives is wrong even when it is about sensitive issues like protecting cows so sir our prime minister and our government are absolutely right to condemn it and ask state governments and the police to ensure that the law is enforced and prosecutions robust when crime uh, laws are broken sir i want to make three broad points so let me start by making doing some plain speaking sir the constitution provides today explicit protection and prohibition against cow slaughter in article 48 except for a few exempt states there is a need to do some plain speaking sir the sensitivities of the hindu community are as important as the sensitivity of the muslim the sikh the christian parsi and all other communities in this country i am sure sir all my colleagues will accept that basic principle so if a large majority of hindus in some parts of our country have strong views about the treatment of cows there is no escaping the fact that those views have to be addressed and debated and not just trifled with or dismissed as inconvenient to some that is the nature of our democracy so when members of the congress or some in the left slaughter a cow on the streets of kerala or have beef melas let us be clear sir this is grave provocation to a community that considers this as a sensitive issue i am sir only doing some plain speaking and i think this speaking needs need to be said sir the second issue is that of this prevailing double standards and hypocrisy that some in politics practice towards the issue of life and liberty sir as i have said already sir this is clearly wrong uh, lynching needs to be punished under law but violent crime sir should not have double standards like my colleague the minister of hrd said take my esteemed colleagues from the left 
they have made it almost a practice to speak about intolerance, almost trademarking this phrase and practicing this with a high degree of sophisticated hypocrisy. And I'll explain why. I heard with rapt attention my colleague Sitaram Yachuri, and his eloquence is unmatched, sir. He referred to Mein Kampf, he referred to Swami Vivekananda, he referred to Shakespeare. Sir, I am only a Kendri Vidyalaya student and I have studied computer science and uh, electrical engineering, so I can't compete at that level of literature. But I can, for the benefit of all of us in this house, repeat some of the phrases that he used. He used, sir, cult of violence, pandering to the Hindu right, antithetical to the constitutional values, different human images merging into one, what did Mother India teach, etc., etc., etc. I have no dispute with him on his commitment to constitutional values and the law. That is to be welcome, sir. All of us will welcome it. But he must answer one question, sir. Why is it that his followers and his party followers are strangely silent when scores of political workers and innocent family members are hacked to death in Kannur, Kerala? No, 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 no. It's not wrong. It is wrong. You are misrepresenting the Anyway, you, you say that to the chairman. In Kerala, sir, in Kerala, sir, in the last 14 months. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please sit down. Your story later. Please. In Kerala, sir, in the last 14 months. Please sit down. Since the left government came to power, there have been 15 Don't vicious killings of political voters. Please sit down. In Karnataka, sir, in Karnataka, sir, since 2015, under the Congress government, 25 BJP workers have been hacked to death. There is a deafening silence, sir, when vicious violence is perpetrated on an actress, woman actress in Kerala, abducted in broad daylight and molested till the media raises a furore. Not a word, not an interview, not no wisdom, no pontification. Sir, is this not a cult of violence? Is this not antithetical to constitutional values? Isn't this intimidating? Please conclude. Sir, let me finish. Sir. Please conclude. Sir, isn't this intimidating and murdering of political opponents closer to Mein Kampf's concept of merging into one human image? Sir, isn't, the, isn't this stand of hypocrisy signaling that some violent crimes are okay and some are not? Sir, sir, let us stop this charade of double standards. Let us stop this hypocrisy. Let us agree today, sir, that all violence and crime should be treated as that, violent crime not through the selective prism of political expediency or rhetoric. All crime and criminals must be tested through only law and constitution, sir. Sir, let me just quickly end with the third point. Sir, let us focus where the problem is. The need to modernize and depoliticize our police. The police over the last five, six decades has been hopelessly politicized and corrupted. Instead of being public servants, police, police forces, including the most dedicated of them, are being forced to tow political lines and political ideologies rather than safeguarding the right to safety of the citizen. Only over the last few days, sir, we have seen the shameful sight of a chief minister of my state shunting out a lady officer DIG for outing corruption in the Bangalore jail system. This is on the back of, sir, multiple suicides of officers, both in the police and the bureaucracy in, in Karnataka. In Kerala, sir, the left was silent when an honest bureaucrat who was trying to enforce environmental laws was first intimidated by the government and then transferred out when he tried to take on the vested okay. interest. Sir, I'm just finishing. Vested interest encroaching on Munar. Sir, let me finish, sir, by saying, if you corrode, corrupt, and intimidate the police and bureaucracy like this, how can they discharge their duty to the safety of common citizens? They cannot. So humbly, I humbly submit, sir, let us brush aside this selective outrage that reeks of double standards and be outraged as at every crime of violence that is committed by okay. right or left. Let me, I'll just finish, sir. Let me, please, sir. Please sir that is the only guarantor please of our plurality. Uh. Sir, let me finish, sir. That is our You're only guarantor. You're not yielding. Sir, I'm not yielding, sir. I'm not yielding. I'm not yielding. Please. Let me finish. You can, you can then yes, speak please, to the chairman. Sir, that is the only guarantor of our plurality and multicultural He's not yielding. Please sit down. He's not yielding. You get up after him, sir. Please, please. You get up after so yes, that is the only guarantor of our plurality and multiculturalness and ensure that the respect that is due to all faiths and religions that are guaranteed under our con constitution, sir. Jayan, sir, thank you. Yes,